say onwards, it's never felt like work. I've never really cared what I've been paid, which is probably quite a good thing in journalism, <laughs> especially starting on £21 a week. I didn't care. I just wanted to do this job. I wanted to ask questions. I wanted to go to football matches. And I absolutely loved every minute of it. So what I would say to you is, even if sitting here today, you're not 100% sure exactly which ladder to get on, do your research. Do research. Don't feel like you should be forced into one particular avenue. You've got so many options open to you in terms of research. You've got the internet, for goodness sake. Didn't necessarily have that when I was at school. You've got, you've got telephones. We did have those. You phone people. You can do so much research and find out what it is that you really want to do and, and how the land lies in terms of the opportunities open to you. And whatever you do, just don't accept, don't accept whatever falls into your lap. So many people do that. Strive for something that you really want to do and something you have an aptitude for, ideally, but something you're really passionate about, something you enjoy, something you feel that you can succeed in. Be the best version of you. Be the best that you can be. And hopefully, you're at the start, at the bottom of a ladder that you want to be on. And my motto in life is, work hard and be nice to people. Then if all else fails, at least you probably won't have any regrets. But good luck to all of you, whatever you end up doing. You probably don't remember, and you told me about when you were selling lottery tickets yeah. at the Molyneux. Mm. Um, I wanted to ask you, when you were doing that, did you ever think in the same year you'd get an MBE and an honorary degree from the University of Wolverhampton? I think it's fair to say no, that didn't exactly cross my mind, bearing in mind uh, I was a student at Leeds University at the time. And yeah. Used to travel down here and um, didn't I had no idea what I was going to do with my life after that. Absolutely no idea. I did a German degree, and as with so many people who do language degrees, you, it can open so many doors, but you have to decide which one to walk through. And uh, yeah. it was never obvious for me. And so I was 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21 when I was doing that. So. Um, no, I had, I had absolutely no inkling what I would do in the future. I didn't even know I'd be working in sport because at that time it never occurred to me that I actually could work in sport. It yeah. sounds it sounds strange probably now because there are so many more opportunities for women working in sport, but at that time it wasn't suggested to me and I had no levels of confidence that that those sort of jobs existed for, for people like me. Um, so I thought I'd have to do it much what everyone else does and uh, <laughs> um, I'd go to London and, and yeah. hope for the best really and that's what I did so it, it took me a long time to get around to actually doing what I wanted to do. Well I mean that leads on to my second question really I think you've been recognised today for um, promoting opportunities for women in sport and broadcasting so I wanted to ask you how far we've come and also how much more needs to be done? We've definitely come a long way because back in those days when I was the morning you with the selling lottery tickets and, and didn't think that it would be possible to do this and um, at least now those years later we do see more female uh, women who work in, in football in sport in general it's not just football but there are opportunities across the board now and um, so yes we have come a long way but it's really important that we keep making progress because there's still so so few women who write for newspapers in sport so few and that, that I'm afraid to say is showing no signs of changing and it's a real issue something we at women in football are looking to challenge we're looking to find out the reasons we've got an idea as to what some of those reasons are um, and we're looking to try to encourage young girls women who have a passion for football in particular sport in general but football in particular to actually do something about it and not be put off because I think a lot of them have that passion but then it's actually finding your way and navigating your way through a culture which is very very much more male dominated than broadcasting much more so Absolutely, yeah. um, so that is a real challenge uh, and print journalism in sport is a it's a challenge anyway, you know, there's only difficulties there, but, um, but I think the women, they're just not breaking through and staying staying there. That's the point, if they do break through, they seem to move sideways or, or drop away again. But it, it's really important that we do something about that, because people need to um, read across a section of, of, uh, of 
background, people from cross-section of backgrounds. Okay. Pretty to be really diverse. Okay, that's it more or less. That's I it. just wanted to ask you as well, just in case, what, what can we expect from you coming up? I know you're still doing ITV and BBC and stuff, but anything else coming up that we, we've got in the pipeline? <laughs> If the answer's no, it's fine, <laughs> I was just think? checking. Um, there's no major, I'm not doing Strictly, nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. No, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing, uh, nothing specific, more the, um, got a lot of international football coming back for ITV coming up, a big dart season coming up, PDC dart season, which is not two starting with the Europeans at the end of the uh, European Championship with Belgium at the end of October, so that's exciting. Um, and yeah, so the international football with ITV and um, I'm presenting a final score tomorrow for BBC One. Um, which is three hours of live telly and you'd never know what's going to happen next and uh, that's absolutely amazing show to do so yeah, I bet yeah so I'm looking forward to doing that brilliant thank you very much Jackie congratulations thank as well thank you very much thank you